Hello all, uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. In this video I want to show you how you can use a part browser uh, even if you're working with some manual mesh methods. So the starter, let's have a look at the part. Purposely I took an old HM model where you see there is no part yet. Uh, so this should occur with old HM models, you should not see it if you import CAD models or FE models. So to get the parts, one quick way to do it is on component in the model browser, right click, create parts. And then you get all your parts populated. Now let, get, let me get to my part of interest. And what I will do before starting the mesh is to create or to filter sorry, the PDM mesh flag and the PDM material. So PDM material will be my material. Um, RAM millimeter millisecond for instance and the PDM mesh flag I need to get it in sync with a, a representation control. So what is a representation control in um, Power Browser? It is one given a set of settings for one given mesh automated mesh strategy either 2D mesh or exact scene solid or spin mesh or tetra among others uh, plus a target size. So here, as I'm dealing with XR solid, uh, let me pick, let me have a look at my XR representations, and I see this mesh flag set to XR. So let me set my PDM uh, mesh flag to XR. Let me just go to materials, right click, uh, load, library, load, by name. Just want to check the materials, that, the names that I have for the steel material. Um, millimeter, millisecond, gram. My bad. So I need obviously millimeter, millisecond, gram. Now let me go to the manual part of my uh, mesh. So right click uh, isolate only. I will go to topology tools, splits, in order to split by surfaces. So as I have multiple, several steps here, I need to split with some surfaces. So let me take a couple of them here. Every time that I have a split, uh, a step, it makes sense that I bring uh, some cut surfaces. Review, because I checked extend streamer, split. And now let me go to 3D, map, mappable solid, 2 minute metal mesh for this case. And you can see that I have my faces and I can hit on mesh. So mesh is completed, I can escape. And now I can go to my part, right click, representation, save. I will save it as an exasin solid representation. Uh, for instance, this one. Okay. This is important because this will determine which property uh, which will, cre will be created automatically. If you define, if you set a 2D mesh representation, it will create a P shell. So you need to uh, set a solid representation and right click representations update. Doing so, I have a P solid property which is defined with my material and then I just need to go to my material please and the material uh, you can make sure to upload to the proper value by setting library load by name and here text this number and you see this uh, again the values by default populated by the part browser they are dummy values so you have to do these steps from loading uh, material information from library. Okay, and here's your part is complete with property and material. That's all. Thanks for reviewing this video.